Welcome, Eagle Nation. How you doing? So it is a beautiful Monday morning. As you can see, this is Mr. Sylvain. I am outside on our wonderful, our most amazing campus, the, the campus that God has given us. Just rolling here in beautiful land. Yes, Kelsey, get a little bit of this beautiful campus we have here. Today, we are continuing in our discussion about fruit of the Spirit. Today's scripture will be John, I believe Pastor said John 16, 33. So we're going to definitely rock and roll right there. But as we start here and discuss uh, the fruit, um, you notice that this little area is kind of it's kind of peaceful. You can hear the birds chirping. Uh, yeah, of course you do hear a little bit of uh, people with kids being dropped off, but mostly you hear birds chirping. It's just a beautiful morning. Today's discussion will be about peace. So I want to tell you a little story about a favorite song of mine. The song is called "It Is Well with My Soul," and the writer of this song is a guy named Grace Joe Spaff. And so Horatio was a businessman and a bunch of other things. And when he wrote, before writing this song, uh, he lost a good bit of his family on an overseas voyage. He was staying here in America. And his family went home to England uh, to get some things done and handle some business. And he lost a good bit of his family on that voyage. The ship sank. Several months later, as Horatio was then taking the same voyage across the ocean to handle business and, and get his, his family ties together. He crosses over the same portion of ocean that the other boat then capsized. And from that experience, he wrote these words. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrow like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Now what that means to us or what that should mean to us is, oh God, no matter what happens, because I love you and because I know you love me, because I've seen your hand in my life so much, whether the road is rocky or whether the road is clear, all is well with my soul. I believe in you and I believe that I'm going to have a good day, a good life, because I know you're in control. So with that, let's go to God in prayer. Dear gracious and amazing God, we cannot pretend to know your plans for our life. We cannot pretend to know what you will do and when you will do it. That is not our lot to bear. But what we can do, oh God, is focus our energies on you and believe that you do have a plan. And once we settle into that, Lord, we thank you that we then gain peace beyond understanding, oh God, that all of our faith and our hope is built in our relationship with you as creator, as shepherd, and then us as children. Father, we look for a new day. We thank you for a brand new week of excellence here at Arlington Christian School. And we ask you to not only be with us this week, but as this, this broadcast goes out, whether now or later, whenever some, someone sees it, oh God, that they find a new connection with you through it, oh God. Use this broadcast today in a mighty way. Father, we love you so much. Father, we thank you for every blessing. And Father, we acknowledge that we need you in every facet of our lives. It's in your mighty name and in your precious son that we pray together. Amen. Okay. Well, you know what it is, Arlington Nation. Chapel starts now. I'm going to go back to meditate. You have to tell me what I'm He'll make it all right. Is able. God is able. Whatever you need. Whatever you need. 
he'll supply. He'll supply. Whatever is broken. Whatever is broken. He can fix it. He can fix it. No need to worry. No need to worry. He's alive. He's alive. Whole church, he'll make it all right. Whatever you pray, whatever you pray, he knows. He knows. Whatever the answer, whatever the answer, he's got me. He's got me. We know he's sovereign. We know he's sovereign. He's in control. He's in control. Paul Church, he'll make it all right. believe that God will make everything all right. I know that to be a fact. 
I'm happy to be with you this morning. And as we continue on our discussion on fruit of the spirit, I just want to briefly review who can tell us the first two fruit that we've already discussed. I'm in with my juniors and seniors. They're looking sharp this morning. What was their first fruit? Love. Love. Thank you, Emma. Then what, what was last week? Joy. And based on what Mr. Sylvain said already, what are we going to talk about today? Peace. Thank you. Can anybody tell me what peace is? Remaining calm, being calm in your state of mind. Good, Drew. Anybody else? When there's peace, there's a lack of confusion. When there's peace, no matter what is going on in your life, as Mr. Sylvain said, when you have peace, you can get through anything. When you have peace, you can go to sleep uh, at night. I like to say, Lord, let me rest on a pillow of peace. We need peace in our life. When we don't have peace in our life, it can uh, weigh us down. Uh, it could uh, stress us out. Some of us handle a lack of peace in different ways. Some overeat. Uh, some won't eat at all. Some uh, begin to worry and stress. And worry and stress brings on sickness. Sickness brings on disease. We just have to have peace in our life. And God also wants us to be peacemakers. So we can either be a part of a problem or we can be part of the solution. I want to remind you of someone in the Bible who had a problem with peace. He did not have peace because of some situations going on in his personal life. His name was Jacob. And Jacob, as the Bible says in Genesis 32, he wrestled with an angel all night long. It got to the point where he kind of sort of overpowered the angel and the angel said, I got to do something to trip this joker up because he is, he's getting the best of me. So he knocked this hip out of joint. And when he knocked the hip out of joint, the angel said, let me go. And guess what Jacob said? I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Hear God, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Some of us are going through some things, maybe not the little kids, but the maybe middle schoolers and high schoolers. And as I would say to the young babies, just keep living, it's coming, but God's got you. We may be going through some things, especially adults, and there seems that there is no peace. And we may feel like Jacob, we seek the face of the Lord until he gives us an answer, until we get a breakthrough, until we hear from him. Has anybody ever felt that way? You got decisions to make. You got things coming at you and you're not sure which way to go. You don't know which way is right. You don't know which way is wrong. You got some bad news and you just don't have any peace in your spirit. It's bothering you. It's burdening you down. I dare you to be like Jacob and say, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me, until you give me peace in this situation, until my mind can be free and clear to know that everything, just as Pastor Charles Jenkins has said, is everything is all right. God will make it all right. How did Jacob get to that point? I would like to suggest that we have to have a relationship with God to be able to say, God, I need a breakthrough. I need peace. I need to hear from you. Can you make it all right for me? Can you bless me? As I get ready to close, because I'm, I won't be with you long on this, but I want to make sure we all are going for peace. There's a scripture in St. John, the 16th chapter, verse 33. And he says, these things I've spoken unto you, that in me, you might have peace. In other words, if you're in Christ, you got a relationship with him. He wants us to have peace. He says, in the world, you will have tribulation. That means as you go forth from day to day, you're going to have problems. But he says, be of good cheer. In other words, don't worry. I have overcome the world. Every problem we could ever face, God has a solution. Every situation that has had us down, God has a solution. Anytime the enemy thinks that he has victory over us, God has a solution. And we can understand that when we have a relationship with him, when we know him and he knows us. Because a lot of people are saying, I know God, but God's like, child, I don't know you. Have you talked to me? Have you sought my face? 
That's how we develop a relationship with God. And when we have that relationship with God, he will give us peace that surpasses all understanding. People will be looking at us knowing that we're going through all kinds of challenges, but the peace of God will be over us. That's a blessing. And we get that peace as a fruit of the spirit. When we know God, his spirit dwells in us. That's a fruit. So we've got love, joy, and peace. My hope and my prayer for you today is that no matter what's going on, that you would seek the face of the Lord and he will give you peace. You don't have to stress. You don't have to worry your BFF because they probably tired of hearing the same old story anyway. They won't tell you though. But go to God in prayer and ask him to give you peace. That is our message for chapel today. I want to make sure that uh, those that are watching, if you would share, like, comment, uh, post, whatever you would like to share, or, or make sure you share this message with others so that we can continue to let people know all about Arlington Christian School and what we're doing in terms of chapel. And I also need to ask if you have not accepted Christ, that relationship that I mentioned, that peace that comes from God. You got to know him. You got to accept him. You got to make him king of kings and Lord of lords in your life. So if you have never accepted Christ and there just may be one that maybe never has accepted Christ, I would be remiss if I did not offer this opportunity. So just repeat after me. Those that are with me, if you would repeat also, because somebody may be looking for that support. They're afraid to say it by themselves. So let's help them out. Dear Lord, I need you. Come into my heart. Make my heart your home. I realize I'm a sinner. I believe your grace can save me. I believe Jesus is the son of God, that he died on the cross, shed his blood for me. Thank you, Lord, for owning me as your child. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, if you prayed that prayer, you're a kingdom citizen, make sure you stay connected to a Bible teaching and preaching church that can help you in your spiritual development. I'm Pastor Jones. I'm here at the school. God bless you. I love you. I'm going to turn it over to our principal, Dr. Kelvin Griffin. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Pastor Jones, for that uh, fruit of the spirit peace. We really appreciate that. Speaking of peace, we are so grateful for the peace of mind that God has given the Arlington family, the Arlington community as it relates to our SACS accreditation. We are accredited for the next five years. That is a lot of peace, young people, because that means the education that you are receiving at Arlington Christian School is bona fide, certified, legit. And colleges across the nation will accept the education that you're receiving uh, at Arlington Christian School as a legitimate institution. So that's what, in a nutshell, accreditation is. It certifies, it legitimizes your high school diploma should you get one here at Arlington Christian School. Happy Monday to each and every one of you. It is the last Monday of April, and we're about to slide right on into May on Saturday. That means the school year is coming to a close, young people. Let's make sure that we maintain our high level of peace as it relates to our grade, our conduct, and, uh, and any other responsibility that we may have as we close out the school year. So let's make sure we stay on top of our business, stay on top of your task. Let's make sure we close the school year strong, all right? So it's gonna be good to see each and every one of you. I've not made my rounds thus far for our virtual uh, scholars. Uh, I hope all is well is going for you. Hopefully we'll see you next Friday at the field day. All right. Well, a lot of great things happening in May. May is going to be super busy. So protect your peace. Stay focused. All right. Let's end this school year with a bang. It's good to he hear and see each and every one of you today. Be well. Bye.